Oh, God. Oh. And that's on camera. Oh. Morning, YouTubers. Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. I'm on my way to Whitaker Point. It's near a city called Kingston in uh, Arkansas. Um, I'm going to have to hike in about a mile and a half. I'll be backpacking there for a couple days. Um, my goal is to capture a sunrise image, hopefully with some good fall colors. Uh, just based on what I see right now, looking around, it, it's... Uh, it's going to be okay, hopefully. Um, I'm a little worried about the wind. I think I'm going to get a little wind, so hopefully not too much. I don't want to blur my image. But the um, the rain that I'm going to get is uh, you know, it's a little concerning. But with rain comes comes some good color. So hopefully, hopefully I'll have a nice sky, good color, maybe a little mist, uh, ideally, and uh, and some good fall color in the trees. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping for. So. Anyway, more to follow. What do you think? Too rough? Yeah, too rough. I, I, I don't think I can pull up. Okay. Yeah. Well, Rob, you can try. There's another way I know. Um, yeah, I, there's two ways into it, so you can go around. Oh, okay. There's another way? Yeah.
All right, I'm here at the trailhead. I'm getting ready to head in. A couple nights down here. Looking forward to it. I'm a little uh, concerned about that rain, though, but we'll see. Anyway, about a mile and a half hike. So I'm getting ready to head down. All right. All right, it's really nice right now. But uh, as I mentioned, sure that rain's gonna get me but nevertheless you know it's always great to be out I'm just glad to be on the trail hopefully uh, Sunday morning I'll be able to capture the image I'm looking for I think the it might be overcast if it's overcast it'll be a bit of a concern but I think there might be a little color in the sky we'll see anyway I'm shocked at how many people are here Well, when you're down here at Whitaker Point, it looks like there's several different trails, but and there are, but they all lead to the same place. Just to, if you stick to the right, it's a little bit more scenic. When you get down to the cliff's edge, you see the uh, Ozark Forest, which is beautiful. Anyway, I'm hoping there's an available campsite by the looks of the, uh, I would say, it looks like there's 100 cars out there looks about the looks of all the visitors yeah I think it might be slim pickings on the campground and again tomorrow morning the the uh, Hawksbill Craig is probably gonna be overrun with people but anyway eh, it's a photographer's it's part of the landscape photography you just have to work around it I think this is probably my third trip here and I mean I don't think I've ever been here and could say that it was um, not beautiful so so you know it's a little windy I think that's uh, blown some of the some of the leaves off and but uh, there's still some of the color left and uh, I think if the wind dies down a little bit it'd be all right so I brought enough water I could I'm sure I, get through today and probably about half of tomorrow and after that I'm gonna have to replenish so it's only a mile and a half hike out and I always uh, always carry about a case of water in the in my vehicle so uh, you know in case I get into a spot where there's no water I can always retreat to the vehicle because it is a long way to civilization even even though it's only a mile and a half out of this trail it's still a, at least another six seven miles just to get the blacktop again the creek that's down here it's a little waterfall actually and I've, I've never been down here and there wasn't water so my plan is to filter some water tomorrow so I don't have to hike all the way out at least I remember the uh, creek being closer to to the Hawksbill Crag rather than closer to the car so well it doesn't look like I'm gonna have the the best fall probably from lack of rain this year but uh, you know I've seen this place just it's completely lit up uh, completely yellow beautiful from uh, from the internet I've, I've never actually seen it in person I was hoping to see it this time but uh, I think it'll be has some decent colors but not like I hoped all right this is the area where the waterfall and stream doesn't look like I'm gonna be filtering any water. Yep, 
yeah. Uh, not looking good. Not looking good at all. We have to hike out and uh, replenish tomorrow. Leave my camp set up. Maybe head back, load up. It's a shame I got a water filter, but no water to filter. Yeah, normally this is a waterfall. Guess I'll be hiking back out to the car tomorrow for water. like there's just multiple trails but and there are but they uh these kind of terminate or come back in the same place just different views some are uh, a little bit more scenic than others like this one Windy. I hope this uh, dies down quite a bit. So, a lot of people here. I'll tell you what, if you want Whitaker Point to yourself, there's one way to do it get out here in the summer. You got to bear the heat, but you'll be alone. Nobody else will. It's beautiful. Just beautiful here. All right, I gotta stop taking in the views. I gotta get camp set up. It's uh, about 3:30. It's start to get. It's start to get dark soon. It's gonna be a little chilly. I need to cut some firewood. I love this. Well, that's it. I was hoping for a little bit better color, but uh, that's not gonna happen. Anyway, the wind's probably gonna be really, uh, really strong in the morning, so I don't know if it's gonna turn out, but we'll find out. All right, I've uh, found a campsite, and not too bad. It's off the beaten path. Uh, it's kind of away from the crowds down below, so that's good. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of, uh, Whitaker Point is down there, just, uh, just a couple hundred feet, really. And uh, right below this level is another kind of level, and there's a couple campsites down there. And then right below that is the, uh, the Hawksbill Crag. So I'm going to set up camp up here. One reason is because the, the tree coverage really keeps the wind off me. So that's providing me some shelter. And then another is uh, it comes fully equipped with a pre-made fire ring. So that's exciting. Uh, looks like there's a campsite uh, just over this way. It looks pretty decent. I thought about that, but it's a little bit more open than this one. 
Um, I don't think there's any animal trails here. I kind of looked for that. I don't see anything there, so it should be all right. I'm gonna set up my tent right over here. And I'm gonna get me a hammock up here as soon as I can. But uh, anyway, uh, wind's howling a little bit, but uh, hoping it dies down. I don't think there's much chance of an evening image on the Hawksbill Crag anyway. With the amount of foot traffic down there, I think it'd be, uh, be pretty hard to get a picture of, uh, of just the uh, Hawksbill Crag with no people in it. So, But uh, I'll probably venture down, uh, especially depending on what the light's going to do tonight. I'll venture down with my camera and, and see what I can come up with. Yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, there's not a lot of cell phone coverage here, so yeah, if you, you come out here, don't count on your cell phone, but uh, I do have my uh, Garmin uh, GPS satellite communicator, so um, I did just get a message, and uh, yep, I uh, sent a message out earlier, just let my uh, wife know that uh, I've arrived and I'm okay, so uh, she's replied. All right, all set. Oh, this bag is a lifesaver. This Nemo pad has a little foot pedal. And you, can, you can use your hands or your foot and kind of pump up your mattress. It doesn't take too long, it's not too bad, but go to the other end. You can just kind of connect this here. So much better. a 15 degree bag I think it's probably gonna do the job just fine tonight had this one before. Beef pasta marinara. I gotta say, there's a lot of beef chokes in it and it looks pretty good. 
cheesy. Looks cheesy. Yeah, actually, I'm kind of tired. You know, I, it's only a mile and a half hike, but that six hour drive out here was kind of took a toll on me, so. Probably try to get in bed early tonight. Get up early, make some coffee. Let's see what the morning brings. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this fire and hammock here for another 30, 40 minutes, and then I'm gonna crawl into my tent, get some sleep. All right, well, I'm all tucked in, pretty cozy in here. I'm gonna get up about five in the morning, um, get my gear ready, make some coffee, head down to the Hawksbill, got my composition lined up, and see what I can capture. If there's a lot of people down there, um, oh, well, it is what it is. I'm sure I'll find uh, some composition, but uh, not the one I'm looking for. But nevertheless, maybe there'll just be a couple people down, down there and I can Photoshop them out. Well, we'll see. I hear that wind uh, picking up a little bit, so... I'm hoping it dies down in the morning. The last forecast I checked uh, probably about a half hour ago. Uh, I think it's probably going to probably going to be gusts of wind, so I might have an opportunity to uh, to capture my image. I just don't like a lot of movement in the leaves, so that's uh, that's the big concern with wind. Uh, anyway, I'll see you in the morning. morning it's about 5 45 it's not a bad morning it's uh it's a little cool but it's bearable uh i'm gonna head down to the hawksbill here shortly and um kind of get my composition lined up and make sure i get a spot i can see some of my some of my neighbors are already up and about so uh no doubt we'll be down uh down on the hawksbill together so anyway enjoy a little coffee and head down All right, I'm down at the Hawksbill Crag. I'm getting my gear set up. Um, the winds are looking good, so no wind right now. If anything, it's just a cool breeze. Just me and my coffee down here now. I don't see anybody right now. And no one's on the Hawksbill. But sunrise is at 7.30, and I'm sure that's gonna change. Update. 
There's a lot of people down here already. 6.35, sunrise about 7.30. Yeah, I think it's gonna be pretty packed. Oh well, not a total loss. Had a good night last night. Nice evening, good coffee this morning. I'm sure I can scout out some other compositions uh, and, and, you know, who knows, I still might be able to uh, Photoshop some people out, but depends on how many people are down here. Really not a big fan of, uh, you know, really altering my image. If I can get them out and it doesn't, you know, change the image much, then I'll, I'll give it a shot. Uh, I could, uh, you know, I know somebody's going to be thinking, well, why don't you just do long exposure, you know, you can... Or several exposures I could try that too but last time I was here in the fall there were so many people that that was just going to be a monumental task I think if you want to shoot this place your best option is during the week so if I stay tonight I don't know it might still be packed Monday I don't know if I'm gonna stay or not this depends on uh, what kind of images I capture uh, and if I'm gonna get some heavy rain tomorrow I'm probably not gonna stay anyway I'll see all right it was actually a better morning than I thought um, I really thought the Hawksbill was gonna be really flooded with people but actually uh, turned out to be a nice group of folks down here and uh, I took some images for them and uh, they kind of uh, cleared the scene so uh, uh, myself and another photographer capture some uh, some images so I think I came away with an image I'll be happy with but uh, anyway I'm gonna scout around and see what else I can get into Heading over to the Hawksbill now. I'm gonna try to capture an image on kind of on the west end here, a hillside. And you really can't see it, but uh, it's quite beautiful actually. A lot of color. So we'll see how that turns out. that about wraps it up I've uh, captured a couple images I think are pretty decent colors were actually better than I thought they would be and the the sky wasn't great this morning so uh, a lot of overcast however there was a nice little mist kind of a fog that rolled in well kind of make up for it maybe I hope so I have to get back process the images and see how everything turned out I think I'm going to uh, call it a day head back to camp pack up and uh, get out of here. That was a good trip. I'm really happy I uh, 
really happy I've made it. So, um, I, I'm sure I'll be back. I like coming out here in the summer. Anyway, I'm gonna get off here. I'll see you on the other end. Well, about a half a mile to go. Well, I would say a lot less people today. Uh, the social distancing is a lot easier today. Yesterday, a couple, a couple times, I had to get off the track and you know wait two, three minutes. And people, people are generally pretty good about it. All right, I'm getting pretty close now. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you're ever in this neck of the woods, I would highly recommend Whitaker Point. In spring, summer, not sure about winter. I don't know if you're gonna get up here. I'm sure you saw that video getting up here. It's quite the task. Doesn't matter which way you go. There's two ways in here. Either way, yeah, it's just as hard. So anyway, um, hey, give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget, leave me a comment too. Bye.